thought there was something up there too. I got a little bit of durability left. You do not see me. You do not see me at all. Let's do this. Come on, tiger. The sun is shining. The birds are chirping. And the bears want to kill me. Welcome back, everyone, to episode 5 of Survival Craft 2.3. You guys seem to be fully enjoying this series. But I know it's been a couple of weeks, and I do apologize. In fact, I actually rage quit. And I rage quit because, believe it or not, I was killed by a rhinoceros. Now, I was doing my best to take a thumbnail screenshot in that body of water down there. A rhinoceros turned up. And I can tell you, for those of you who have not dealt with a rhinoceros in this game, they are brutal. Now, I did manage to kill it. It only gave me leather, unfortunately. But I did manage to get a bunch of my materials back. Now, we're currently on the tippity top of my mountain. And at this point, I want to say a huge shout out to Random, who gave me a couple of tips in the comments section. I really appreciate it. The fact that I can actually crawl on my crops without doing any damage to it. Because I was concerned that if I did that, I was just going to destroy all the crops that I had worked hard for. He also said that if I go ahead and place down a boat on flat terrain, I'm actually protected from some of these animals. Apart from tigers, leopards, and jaguars, and other animals that can jump like that. So, I appreciate it. So, apparently, if I injure him... And stand on a boat. Because I don't, I don't even know if you can get inside of the boats. These guys... Ah! <laughs> That's actually a really cool idea. Thank you for the top tip. As always, if you guys have any more tips, like, leave them in the comment section below. I wonder if this can tempt any more of these guys to come over. In fact, a better plan here is I'll just... I missed him. Darn it, bro. My aim is still not perfect with these things. I think I'll just gather myself a couple of rye seeds. Because I think rye is used for bread on this. We've got a couple there. I mean, we've got, we've got four of them there. There's also a little bit of a tip to do with vines. But it is going to be nighttime very soon. And I don't fancy falling asleep in the middle of this biome like last time. What I would like to do is get rid of these guys once and for all from the front of my base, individually, one by one. I was going to use the boat trick, but honestly, I don't think I need to. I'm just going to grab all of the resources that they drop. There was four or five of them there. I'm just in the process of getting very, very chilly. Hold on. You, did he eat it? I think he did eat it. It don't take too long to kill these guys. One more. There you go. Your one more hit as well. There you go. So technically, all of the ones that have been around here should now be dead. I mean, they do spawn every so often, but if I can just keep getting rid of these, especially while I'm a little bit stronger, it's just going to be so much better. Home sweet home. All right, well, we're going to need fuel. I think we can make ourselves a few uh, of these here. I'll put a couple of extra ones inside of there. We, we need coal resources. In fact, I need quite a few of these, so... I don't mind burning this. Let's just see what we end up with here. So I did go ahead and start working on this room, which is going to pretty much be a carbon copy of this. I got so many crops, by the way. Also, it's so much better doing it inside rather than outside. Because last time we had the problem of uh, birds. We're trying to eat the crops. And then you had to make a scarecrow. At least we kind of bypassed that at the moment. Anyway, let's get this whole entire room dug out. So we can start planting down our cotton seeds and rye. I can hear lightning and somebody did comment and say, Echo, you're going to have to be careful with the lightning on that bridge. Because if lightning strikes, it's going to completely destroy it. Yeah, you come to me. Come on in. Let's do it. Let's, let's do it. 
Let's do it. Bring your whole family. Bring them all. I need XP levels anyway. Bring them, bring them all to me. Where's the rest of them? Couple down there. Thank you very much. I gotta get to level three. I gotta get closer to it anyway. How close are we? Um, there's a way to check, right? Experience. Bro, we are close. I don't think I'm close enough that I want to fight myself a bear. Not, not right now. At least the rain is gone. This pickaxe is also about to break, but I told you guys in the last episode, we did manage to get ourselves some of this. And that's the reason why I would like to get myself to level uh, three. I can't currently do it, but once we get this, we're going to be able to upgrade so many of our tools. So that's... What the... Holy... Talk about eavesdropping. See, I don't want to open this. Part of me kind of does, but part of me doesn't. Um, what about this? This could be the, this. I wonder. Can he get under there? Did he die? Ha <laughs> ha! He did. Did I? Did we get XP for that though? I don't think we do because I think that classes as fall damage. Oh, that would have been so nice too. Darn it. So close. I don't think I picked up XP, but if we did, it clearly was not enough. Hey, there we go. So I just went ahead and crafted this. And in the process of doing it, I can now make myself some iron stuff. So plan of action here. Get this built. I'm going to head in the cave with my iron tools. If we're lucky, we might even stumble across some diamonds. Working out to be a very, very good episode today. But we've got to be, we've got to be productive today. I don't just want to spend one day doing one thing. We're trying to do as many things as possible. Daytime. Finally. Got myself a bucket of water. I need to get myself a little bit of this. Because we're going to need farmland. Which means I'm going to have to craft myself another kind of hoe. So we've got seven and three. I think we needed like 12 at least. So 10, 13... That should be plenty for us to get this done. We're getting terrain as well. So perfect time to spend inside. Okay. Come on. Let's see. So we've got one, two, three. That's going to end up being done in a second anyway. So we'll just... Oh, oh, oh. Put that back down there. Don't worry about me being wet. All good. Get these down. This down too. All of this down. Oh, I need a little bit more. Okay. All right. Well, let, can we do this, though? You can make infinite water sources on this. Yes, you can. We'll put another one over there. One more of these. And that can go there. Got ourselves the rake. We've got ourselves plenty of this. Let's get this down. One, two, three. Perfect. Uh, I'll go with torches first, actually. That's why we got to go and do some mining. I really do need to get myself... A little bit more coal. It's okay doing with trees, but I feel like I need that for other things. So uh, let's take them back out as well. So we've got a couple of these. So I think I did these like every other one, right? Yeah, so we started one, two. Wait, did I do it that way? How did I do it on the other side then? We did do it in the corners. Okay, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I do it that way? Yes. One, two, three, and four. See what I mean with me using so many of these? Try this. This is going to run out quite quickly, though. Should be enough to do our crops. Perfect. Last bit of this down. Lovely. Right. We got two lots of things that we need to put down here. Let me just quickly get rid of this. Uh, I, ha I don't know why I've got so much of this stuff on me, honestly. But we'll put that out the way. We've got the cotton seeds... We've also got rye seeds. Now, I think for now, I will focus on the cotton. Because I'm going to need this more than anything else. So, we'll see how this gets on. I think what we'll do is we'll spend our time in a cave and come back. And this should hopefully have fully grown. But what I am going to start doing here is being a little bit more practical. So if we take out these and make ourselves some chests... Uh, we need a little bit more of this. We're going to go one, two, all the way around. And we'll do another one. It's just so I can store store some stuff. Can you not stack them? Are they not stackable? I don't think they are. Hmm, okay. Well, we'll get rid of you for now. Come back for that. 
this in here. Chest. There. So this is going to be cotton and also the rye seeds. I know I'm incredibly tired now. We spent the whole entire night doing this. That can go in there and that can also go in there as well. All right. Quick nap, I guess. And then let's go and do some exploring. This is going to spoil very soon. So we'll eat this one. I've got plenty of pumpkins when we need them. So we'll eat this one. We've eaten well, as it said. I can now upgrade my tools. So we'll go to a pickaxe. Oh boy, that looks good. And of course we'll go for... We'll go for a sword as well. Of course. We've got pickaxe and a sword. And then I think an axe is going to be needed because what we'll do is i'll spend a whole bunch of time chopping down all the trees that are in the back that we grew last time now while it is still a new dawn a new day i'm just going to go back to the wild part at the back of my house because there's something pretty cool there that i need to go and check out but before we do this let's just so oh oh well that's growing incredibly fast um is that like oh they oh that's fully ripened um I didn't realize sleeping was just going to do that straight away. Okay. Well, we'll grab these. Uh, I guess I'm going to put them inside of there. Oh, okay, right. Well, let's just sort out my inventory. Let's keep this closed. Let's sort out my inventory real quick. Let's get down to business. We'll put them in there. That doesn't fit inside of there. I just need a little bit of space. Storage is, is, is a big problem on this game, I think, as well. Uh, sticks are fine. It's just because we've crafted those things. Right, let's do it. So we can harvest these ones. I was not expecting these to be ready too soon. The question is, though, like, are those ripen but didn't produce or won't produce cotton? We've got ourselves 11 of those. More seeds. In fact, while I'm here, we're going to... These these seem to work very, very quickly. All right, let's check out the recipe real quick, especially with this. Let's go up to my crafting table. Question mark... Recipedia. Uh, clothing is, is what we're talking about here. So, I know clothes, like, I'm talking about sweaters. It's really good for installation. So, recipe would be these. But in order to make that, we're going to need items, right? Which would be... Where is it? Got to be down here, right? The canvas. So, canvas makes three. Let's go with... Is it all of them? It is. It makes three of them. I need a lot more than that. Oh, okay. Oh, I will be back for this. I will make a sweater. So I think I can put sweater, leather jerkin, then this. It might not be the jerkin, but that is definitely my next go-to thing. So I can start entering some of the colder biomes. I wonder, does this trick also work with bears? I want to try this, I think. Try it. Nope. That was a bad idea, I think. Well, at least I've got iron. These guys are strong. Oh, boy. <laughs> he really did want to go. I was not going to let that go, by the way. Yeah, so, I mean, the trick isn't exactly flawless. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, it's, it's better, but it's not exactly flawless. <laughs> I think I'll learn very quickly what I can and cannot do this against. Also, I can't pick that thing back up, but I wonder. Because you can't fish on this game, can you? Which is it's quite strange. I do see a fish over there, though. Let's try and put this in here. Come on. I think in order to do things on water, I got to do this, right? It's not really productive. I hope in the next update we're able to fish. Probably the first episode, I've not really focused on food too much. Because now that we're getting more resources... I I'm sorry, little Betty. I don't need you all the time. Wait, did that that's that generated spoiled. Okay. Um, we need to get as many of these vines as possible. Somebody mentioned in the comments section that I can place this on walls back at my base, and just like Minecraft, it would just produce more vines for you. It's gonna save me having to go back and forth every single time. That's another jaguar. I don't fancy having a fight with them again. <laughs> Finally put my new iron sword to the test here. 
Yeah. I thought you guys would back away, huh? Not, not you, though. I do not have time to be dealing with you guys. Please, please. This is not it. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get out of here. I gotta leave just as fast as he does. This is probably not where I want this to happen. <laughs> Whew. That was a little bit too close for comfort. I wanted to just test out my new tools. My sword and, and my pickaxe. Um, sorry, my sword and my axe. That's a little bit too close for comfort, though, because those dudes do not mess around. Uh, I could probably spend the night here, honestly. I see the coal right there. I need that coal. And it might be well some up there as well. So we'll go back to the top of my mountain and explore. Well, let's just see how this works. Is it just place it all the way up here and it's just going to go to the bottom? If, if so, just a time saving thing here, isn't it? Put them there. 16 more. Technically, we can just keep doubling these every single time. And while we're here, let's check our cotton resources. I always keep thinking that's something over there. I think that's just the way the water's flowing, though. All right. Co oh, cotton. I would like to make myself a sweater when we get the chance. Ha-ha. We're back. We're back with a little bit more. This might well be plenty for us here. Place this down. This is good. I just want to make the sweater today. All right, let's go. Place that down. Plenty of them. Uh, that goes in the crafting table. Boy, I'm going to have to start focusing a little bit more on my crops. These, they haven't spoiled yet. Can we eat these, though? I eat these too often. Bro, I haven't eaten these for quite some time. Only because my food is about to spoil a little bit there. These are about to spoil. Anyway, I can make these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. Sorry, in general, uh, I've got three there. I think I put the rest inside of there. So we might have some spares, actually. What have we got inside of there? Okay, we need a little bit more of them. That's six. How many did I need again? For this? Items? Canvas? Uh, clothing? Sweaters? Where are you? That's enough. I've actually got plenty here. Okay, let's check. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This should be a little bit warmer. So do I take this off? Put that on? Oh, the jerkin broke anyway. But apparently this has really good insulation. Okay, well, we'll have to change the pants as well. So what is it for the pants? The recipe for the pants. Uh, long johns. Long johns are pretty good for insulation as well. We need four and two string. Wait, how many did I have? Okay. All right, we just got to let these grow. So it keeps talking about me eating these too often. So I think what I'm going to try and... Can you turn these into seeds, by the way? You can't, can you? No, you can't. So what I am going to do here is... I think it's a good time to try and plant down some of the rye seeds. Let's see if... Let's see if we get anything going on with that. Because rye equals bread. Oop, let's not lose you. we we'll try you. Let's go... I've got 16 of these. This is where we will finally go and do some mining and see and see how this gets on. Because I think the cotton's going to be quite important for just pure and simply for insulation reasons. All right, we've got ourselves this. I've got myself one of them. I've got these in case we need that. I got to go and grab a little bit of coal and then that's it. And then we can get down to business. But yes, this is correct. This is the perfect way for me to just harvest as many vines as possible. Thank you, Mr. Random in the comment section. Honestly, I really appreciate the comments. I take the time to read as many as possible, especially when I'm still relearning this game. I didn't make it too far in the game, but we are going to go hunting for like sharks and stuff eventually. Boy, that lightning is so brutal. The only one I could see though, it's the only one I was able to find wonder how high I have to go. Now, you guys did say, be careful the higher you go because the colder you become. But the rewards are pretty good. But one at a time, it's not really the vibe I'm after. I need to get, like, a whole vein of this stuff. There's that tiger that I've seen so many times. I kind of want to go and get this for a start. Don't know if Tiger has seen me or not, but honestly, though, 
I would like to... Let's not die here. Thank you very much. A little bit chilly, though. This is, this is a nice little spot for me. <laughs> well, maybe not. They're not really cold. Oh, I can hear him. I, I hear the tiger. They are a little bit too strong for me. So... I, oh, I put myself in a really tough situation here. There it is. There it is. Please leave me alone. I got a little bit. I got a little bit. I thought it was something up there too. I got a little bit of durability left. You do not see me. You do not see me at all. Let's do this. Come on, tiger. Yeah, I didn't think you were going to come. Oh, there you go. I don't think he can't get up unless he gets up there. Come on. And again. Let's do it. Come back. Come back. Yeah. I didn't think so. I didn't think so either. I might go and kill him though. Okay, now we're on to this. Dude, the iron one is so good. Here he comes. Here he comes. Come on in. Yeah, I didn't think so. Hold on. Hold on. Will these do enough damage to him or not? One more time. Not enough. Darn it. Oh, that would have been a hefty amount of XP as well if we managed to kill him there. I can throw rocks at him, right? Can we throw rocks at him? It's not enough. It's not going to go far enough. There, I knew there was something up here. I knew there was something up there lurking. Here he comes. Come on in. Come on in. Get down, boy. Yeah. I think I'll take out all the XP we could get. I'm going to use a large proportion of this, though, for uh, torches. I generally think we could possibly find ourselves some diamonds. He's come back to me. He generally came back. I don't know why he came back for that, though, but I'll take the XP. Hold on. I need to see what he drops. I don't think he drops anything spectacular, though. Yeah. Mainly the XP that I want from these guys. There is a fight going on somewhere. Oh, they're fighting the boars. Come on. I know these guys are strong, but I need I need the food. I need I desperately needed that. I don't know what that was though. What is that? Is that more more of them? It is. Yes, three foods. Three lots of steak. We we eating good tonight, boys. I don't want to get too overconfident here though. But I could really do with killing another one of those. Um, like, kind of desperately in a way. I could probably take on one. And that's about it. I'll wait for him to go down there. And then I think what we'll do... Is we'll fight this one. Come on. There we go. You just gotta watch out, because these guys as a team are strong. Dead. Come on, you and me. And again. Yes. Uh-oh. 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 I'm getting a little bit too close for comfort with all of these animals now. I am... I'm, I gotta get out. I gotta go back home. I, like, how do I get back over there, though? Do you really... Really want to play right now, buddy? Because if I was you, I wouldn't. Yeah, I didn't think so either. Need the XP, though. Ugh, I'm not even going to worry about it. It's not a lot of XP. You are tired. Take a nap. You're telling me. I know we need a nap after that experience. But I'm finally feeling a lot stronger. Where I can take on a lot more animals and a lot more creatures. Even if they are some of the strongest in this game. But at least I managed to not only kill those things, but managed to get myself tons of food. I wonder if in that process, the rye managed... It did. Is this fully grown, though? See, I can't really tell when this is fully grown. Something tells me that these are not the right things that I need to be planting and growing, but I'm sure you guys will correct me in the comments section. Basically, guys, I'm trying to figure out how to make myself some bread. I'm going to need bread so desperately. If you'd like to see me go down there for a whole entire episode, then please be sure to hit that like button. 
I was planning to do a bunch of exploring in this cave today, but we got distracted in other areas and things that we probably needed to do, like the cotton thing. I'm so glad I got that done. Now, one thing I do remember about this is if you stand in this on the perfect angle, you can actually see through the water. I, actually, I threw the uh, meat up there, hoping that something would come and try and get it. But I think in order for me to try and do something like that, I would have to be in the ocean. But I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. There's a long way to go, but we have come incredibly far. So be sure to hit that like button. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you all in the next episode.